In this week's Technique Tuesday video, I'll show you a trick I use when blocking my newly completed stranded color work projects. This Christmas stocking was knit in stranded color work. I have not woven in any of the ends yet. I have given it a soak in warm water. I don't know, I pro it's probably been at least an hour. I would say a wool in particular, you should soak for at least 20 to 30 minutes. It takes that long for the air to leave the wool, particularly if it's not a superwash wool. The stitches have evened out quite a bit from the state that this was in right before or right after taking it off the needles. Um, but I wanna smooth it out a little more. So I'm gonna show you a trick I learned from a woman in a knitting group, I don't know, 15 years ago or something. And she's not the only person that I know of in the Twin Cities who uses this technique for blocking things at, right after they've uh, first been knit. Uh, but I haven't really heard of anybody else. Like I haven't found this technique used anywhere else. So you turn everything inside out and you take a wooden spoon, you take the back of it and you just uh, slap it. since this was knit in the round and I want to get on this side. So I'm not damaging the fibers. I'm it, going flat. It's, it's not really any harder than if I use my hand. I probably could use my hand instead. It's just uh, easier. You get a little bit more leverage. Uh, with the spoon. So after you've done that, you can turn it back right side out. Smooth it out into the dimensions that you want. And, and then let it dry. And I find this is just a nice, helpful additional step beyond just soaking something and then letting it dry flat. And this is a technique that I only use for stranded color work. Uh, I do know one person who uses it for everything that she knits. Uh, I don't find that necessary. I do like the a little additional help in getting stitches uh, flattened out and straight it, straightened out during the blocking process. Knitting can often look like a lumpy mess when it's on the needles, particularly for some types of stitch patterns like stranded color work and lace. Washing and blocking the item once it's off the needles improves your finished results immensely. The stitches smooth out and are locked into place. The fabric softens and acquires more drape. And while the fabric is wet, you can influence its final shape. If you're wondering whether or not smacking your finished projects with a wooden spoon will improve your finished results, try it out on a project like a pair of mittens. Blocking one mitten by soaking and smoothing and with the other, add the wooden spoon trick. Or knit several swatches and experiment on those. If you are interested in other videos on stranded color work, I have several here that you might like. If you have any comments or questions about today's video or suggestions for videos you'd like to see in the future, you can leave those down in the comments below or join the discussion in my Ravelry group, Rocks Rocks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.